Hello, everybody. I'm Derek Tevers. Welcome to your Farming Simulator 15 mod spotlight. And we have mods. I've cleaned up the yard. Oh, look, the tractors. Well, they're, they're, what are those things? Telehandlers, and then there's the other truck. So we have comparison tools. Let's get into the mods instead of babbling about other things. All right, in tractors, I have an IMT 2090, 12,000 to buy, 10 a day to own. I have no idea the horsepower. We'll figure it out. Probably not, but we'll we'll toy with it anyway. In trucks, I have a pack of Kenworth K100 flat tops. We'll buy that one. That is 64341, but this one is 62. That's 65. Oh, okay, so there's there's slight variations. All right. So they're 12 a day, all of them are 12 a day. Yep. And they're all 430 horsepower. Ooh. All right. So there's uh that's three of them. There's a fourth one. There's the fifth. Ooh, that's the expensive one, 68,000. And then we have that guy right there. Okay, cool. All right, and then in Harvesters, we have the Cat Challenger 680B, 297,000. And then the BTT, 297,500. So $500 to get tracks. Cool, let's buy both of them. And we get a Power Flow 9.2 meter for 46125 or a Power Flow 10 meter for 51250 And then we have a cutter trailer for that in one or the other. Something like that. So let's go with that one. Um, and that one because we actually bought both. Okay, well, then that means we need to get the cutter trailers too. So we'll get the cutter trailers. Cool. And then we have an unknown maze cutter 9 meters. Cool. Um, it's an I mean your maze cutter. Let's buy it. I well, oh, good grief. This one's actually colorated. 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 That's the word. All right, fine. And then a Kloss Dominator 85. 15,500 to buy. 65 a day to own. 112 horsepower. 4,200 liter capacity. Did the other one have capacities on it? No, it didn't. Ugh. Okay, cool. Let's buy the Dominator. And then in headers... There we go, a class Dominator 85 ahead, 25 a day to own, 1300 to buy, a 5.3 meter working with. Cool, buy that. All right, I think that's all the things I got. Do, 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 do. Yes, that's all things. It's still a lot of things. The class Dominator is doing some trick over there. My frame rate is being weird. Cool, all right, let's run over here. Okay, at least it's settled at 30, which is acceptable frame rate in most cases. All right, so here's our IMT. Pretty decent. Okay, let's get inside. We are in the IMT. So we have the IC. Oh, a good grief, we have an arm. I, I really... I'm not sold on arms. I, I'm just going to say that. I. They're creepy. I'm just not sold on them. All right. Anything up here? Nope. All right, so we can open up all the things and turn on the lights. That's not bad looking. Start it up. All right. Looking pretty good. All right, let's uh, make sure we got nothing else. I'm just making sure because, you know, you guys yell at me whenever I miss stuff. Nope, oh, looks good. Okay. Um, nope. Oh. But all-wheel drive on, so we spin all four wheels instead of just the rear two. Top speed is 41 kilometers an hour, and it appears to turn okay. I've got a harvest, uh, harvest? Is that thing jumping? Oh, good grief. I, I'm pressing down the back button, and it's... What is going on over here? Good grief. The cat challengers are having a fit. They are absolutely having a fit. Oh my goodness, they really are having a fit. What is going on right here? What are you doing? Why are you doing this thing you are doing? Why are you guys doing the thing you're... Oh my good grief. That is horrible. Not that that's any better, mind you, but really? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 settle down there. All right, that's that's great. That's great. Okay, so we'll take this up. I have a uh, planter that needs a tractor. Well, it doesn't, but it does now. Okay, 
Let's check out our Kenworth flat tops. Uh, that was the expensive one, so when we get to that one, it's supposed to be special or something. We have a little thing on the side. I mean, they all look the same. Oh, you can't walk through the back. That's actually pretty good. Oops. It looks pretty good. Nice. We get we get stuck in the right way. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's look inside. Oh, yes. We got Bandit there. We got some Pepsi and some, some sort of beer back there. We got a Vita on the dash. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Oh, top view. Cool. All right, let's start it up. Okay, the startup sound needs to be tuned a little bit. It's just a little bit loud. All right, we pull this guy out. Uh, it does have all-wheel drive diff lock, which is kind of weird. Uh, so K is bumper. Oh, yeah, we can change it to a... a uh, Painted bumper, that's the word I'm looking for. All right, so Z is wing. Oh, yeah, we got ourselves a wing. X is wing two. Ooh, so we can have a better wing than that wing. Oh, B is aperture. Oh, and N is aperture two. Oh, so I can put both of those. Oh, yeah, and then T is a visor. Uh-huh, O is aperture three. Oh, cool. H, we get bull bars. L is a headache rack. Oh, yeah. And J is a bullhorn. That's literally a bullhorn. Okay. Sounds good. A beacon is a beacon -y thing. Got some good lights. Flashers all work nicely. Cool. That is, uh, that's actually pretty nice looking. And we're talking 85 kilometers an hour, so... That's not bad. Alright, whoa, hello. That's just me not driving properly. Wait, did that thing just have a jake brake on it? Hold on. Oh yeah, not only that, if you listen really carefully, you'll actually hear him shifting. Hold on. I crashed because I was trying to get the shift to happen. But there you go. You heard the shift. That's pretty cool. Look at that. The gauges inside work. That's pretty nice. I like it, Bandit. I like it. Nice. All right. I like that. I like that a lot. I wonder if there's a different thing if I get in the other truck. Like, this guy's different. Let's see here. Um, what did we do? We did K, X, B, O. Wait. Oh. B is that. B is, B is that on the side. O is the front bit. That's normal. Oh, what, what was aperture N? All right. Yeah, B. Oh, okay, yeah. B is there. N is there. Uh, H, yeah, J, yeah. And L. Okay, so it does look the same. Interior-wise, it looks like it's the same. So it's different prices, and you're basically pay paying for... You're paying for paint. That's the, that's the words I'm trying to find in my brain. They're not finding them. All right, Cat Challenger. All righty. Seems... Seems okay. I will say it looks kind of bland. Let's get in it. Okay, we are inside and there's no IC. Alright. Oh, a little a little roof cab view thing going on. Alright, let's start it up. Alright. That that flickering will drive me insane. Alright, unfold the harvester. Okay. Uh, it's okay. I'm going to say this. It's okay. It's not, like, compared to the classes that we looked at last time. Yeah, it's okay. It's not anything that I'm going to be like, oh, it's amazing. Because I don't think it is, but... No. 
Oh, we're gonna run that over. Really? You didn't you didn't want to attach, huh? Just run it over. There we go. Alright, so we got the head. Yeah, I mean it looks okay. I'm not gonna say it looks amazing. That spins, that's a plus though. That 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 spinning, that spinning. I'm not gonna say it's terrible. But the flickering is driving me absolutely bonkers. All right, we'll uh, we'll go test it out here in a bit. But first, good lord, uh, we have this thing. All right, let's see if we can drive. Wow. What is going on exactly? Am I stuck on something, I wonder? Hmm. I'm wondering if I'm not stuck on something. Did I turn you off? No, I didn't. All right. Let me inside. Catch challenger. All right. Bonzo! Boink. Eh. Stuck on a thing. Get out of the way. Come on. Eh. You go. Wow. Oh, I went right through that. Um. Oh, there we go. Magically, we're suddenly free of the the demons that were upon us. Okay, I don't know if those demons were caused by other mods or this mod, but weird. You don't unfold this at all. It sounds like a mad hive of bees come to kill you, but the interior is very uh, simple. <laughs> I'll go with that. Oh, that's a good view, actually. That actually is. What is that view? Oh, that must be the back. Okay. Wow, let's turn down the B vehicle here. Um, all right, all right. Nothing super wrong yet. We'll take these up to the, uh, where's that place? The farm, that's the word I'm looking for. We're gonna take it up to the farm. And we'll see what happens from there. It's the mod. I reset it and it's stuck again and then Okay, now I'm not even so sure it's the mod. What are you stuck on? I hate when invisible stuff shows up for no reason. Also, this thing lost all of its uh, cool points because all the stuff came off. But we actually kind of expected all the stuff to come off. All right. You're out of the way now. So what are you going to be stuck on? Okay. There's something magical. Some sort of magical panda powers. What? <laughs> Hold on. What? I have no words for this right now. Is the IMT stuck on something? Is it this head? No, it is not the head. So what are you stuck on? What is going on? Is there something over here the IMT can hit? No. So there's something going on with that Dominator and that head. Or is just the Dominator period, I wonder. I wonder if resetting it or spawning it in actually causes it to generate invisible walls that you have to navigate out of. I think there is. I don't, I can't, I have no other explanation for why the Dominator does that. If I were to go over here and pick up the head, I wonder if that will change this. Let's actually try to pick up the head instead of whatever I was just about to do. Okay, so we picked up the head. 
Let's try to drive past that spot that's sort of in by the IMT there. Oop, watch out, IMT. Okay. So there is. When the Dominator spawns in, it spawns in an invisible block that it then has to try to deal with. But that's annoying and unfortunate. Boo. Boo. It literally spawns in a block that nothing can get over. That's... That's horrible. That's... Oh my goodness, that's horrible. Ugh. All right. All right, we know it now. We know. So we can avoid it. I would avoid the class dominator for that simple fact alone. Unless you can do the modding. Uh-oh. That's applied. All right. I'll get... I'll sort it out. And that is how I sort things out. <laughs> oh, sign. Invisible sign. Okay, so we're going to have the cat over here and the class challenger over there. Hire the worker. All right, simple. Uh, it spawns in the straw under the tractor. Harvester. Oh, good lord, that looks horrible. It's not even coming out of the... It's not... Oh, my goodness. It's not even coming out of this right spot. Ah, boo. Not you. You! Work. All right. So that, that, that animation is not bad. We're fine there. Okay. Cool. All right, we got to go... Uh, oh, wait, we got this guy. Ha <laughs> ha, I was like, I have to go get a tractor in order to do the, the thing. But no, we'll just use this one. Uh, what is the thing I'm trying to say? The, the thing involving pulling these these uh, trailers here. There's nothing... I'll say there's nothing super wrong about this tractor. I won't say there's anything super right about it either. I'm not offended by the tractor. Let's put it that way. I am not offended by this tractor. It's, it looks to be a medium horsepower in terms of, of how it's been built. Um, that is the world's slowest harvester. But if you need a cheap harvester that spawns invisible blocks in the middle of your uh, area, which means you're always going to have a pain in the butt because of the invisible blocks, then I guess... Oh, hi. Thank you. All right. Good, and it empties. So that's a good. Uh, that gets a good for that. Hey, cat challenger thingy, come here. Lente, 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 lente. Get over here. Come here. Empty out your goodness. I don't like how it creates. Sorry. <laughs> I don't like how it creates the straw at all. And it empties. Good. Good, good, good. Looks okay in there. Alright. I don't like where the straw comes from on that one. I don't like the invisible blocks on that one. There you go. Um, I don't like the fact that this IMT, I've just noticed, if you look in the bottom right of my screen, puts the trailers in front of the tractor. That's silly. That's just, that's just silly talk right there. That's a simple thing that shouldn't escape a modder. <sighs> That makes me sad. That makes me sad, sad, sad. Other than that, the IMT isn't bad. Not you. Aha! So this guy... Thank you. Let's buy a trailer for him. Alright, so I bought a trailer. And I brought the trailer over here. I love that sound. Love that sound. So I want to see this guy all hooked up. Alright. That looks really good, actually. Looks good. I will not guarantee it's pulling capacity over something like the Peterbilt. That will come with time that will test that kind of stuff. Um, but... It looks good. It has a bunch of extras. 
Yeah, I think this is the uh, a pretty good pack. The links to all of these are in the description, as always. Sorry, sorry about that. I've been Derek Tempers. This is your Farming Simulator 15. Uh, Destruction Derby Mod Spotlight, apparently. Um, I was going to load the Class Dominator on here. Okay. Uh, uh, links are in the description, as always. Uh, until next time, game on, be awesome, and watch out for invisible blocks spawned by your class dominator. Oh my gosh, I can't drive. That's no shock to anybody.